Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. Yo yo yo, what's up? Nice to be here today. We're back with another ginger reaction. Today we're gonna be checking out Pit of Consciousness. So many people have asked us to check this out and <laughs> we can't wait to check it out. So without further ado, let's go check it out. Let's do. Pit of Consciousness, first thing in my head is Razal Ghul. <laughs> Razal Ghul. <laughs> The sound of their instrument is just so another level, something totally different. Changes. Ah. Ooh, the bass sounds so nice. Ah. Just like that. Wow. Sounds like amazing. <laughs> Bit of consciousness. Wow, she's really covered up in tattoos. I didn't realize. I never know when the rhythm is gonna change. <laughs> I'm expecting like, sh you know, sudden changes. Yeah. Uh huh. It's kind of. I think it's the first time I really see her like dressed properly in black, like hair really like a black, maybe because of the lighting. <laughs> I love how the lights, the white lights, you know, light up to the rhythm of the of this track. Yeah. Man, the tuning of those guitars and the sound is so nice, like low, like ah, it's so <laughs> Wow with a voice man. It's crazy. How do you control voice like that? To me, it seems like impossible. It's just a talent. <laughs> no, the rhythm is like, you know. <laughs> Wow, what a sustained draw. Oh, I think their tracks always finish like on... <laughs> no matter how I try not to react when I listen to it, to make it feel like, okay, yeah, I'm kind of used to her uh, growling now, but I just can't. I just can't act normal whenever I hear her because I know I've listened to a few of her songs already 
and the growling, I kind of think like it should be normal for me now listening to her growl, but <laughs> no, it's not. It just can't be, be normal <laughs> for me. <laughs> it's always going to be shocking and surprising because the more I listen, the more it get, I get surprised. Like you said, it's like there was a long sustain of growling. Yeah, there was the part where she was just like, uh, like on the growl. And to me, it's crazy that she keeps it up, but then she's able to change it and you know, sing. Like my, my voice, I would be like coughing, you know, <laughs> at least. I just don't know how you even discovered this type of like talent. I think it's m maybe it comes from the fact that, you know, you're interested, let's say in like a heavy music and then you try and do it and, you know, maybe you kind of train and eventually you get to do it. But wow, it, it requires, I think, quite a lot of skill especially with the fact that Tatiana does grow and then goes to singing voice and then go back and forth, back and forth. And having like the sustained growl coming out, you know, for a certain amount of time, it just, it looks and sounds insane. Props to the whole band because their music is so different. Like you cannot, I, I, I would say you cannot really like say, hey, Ginger is similar to this band yeah. you know what i mean like it, it's totally something very different like they have their own sound you know all the instruments sound very different this is kind of a vibe i got when we listened to olivia hmm. playing god as well i thought like they have really like their own style it's like something you can recognize straight away and you'll know this this is the band like you know there's no one else like them wow wow, wow. I, i love their live performances it's it's the execution of it all you know, it sounds so good. I mean, you know, maybe I'm not paying enough attention, but I couldn't really find any, like, any mistakes or anything like that. It just sounds like you're listening. I mean, you know, the sound quality and, you know, the engineers did a good job of making it sound amazing, but, you know, it just sounds awesome. Sounds awesome. <laughs> wow, she's, she's really talented. I didn't, re I didn't even realize she's covered so much in, like, tattoos. I wonder how much life you spend in a chair, in a tattoo parlor, doing this. Because it takes uh, quite a time, you know, to, to do this stuff. Yeah. I know my friends definitely, like, when they do their tattoos and stuff, like, they spend, like, eight, you know, it's eight, five hour session, six hour session. And if you imagine, like, you start to cover up your whole body, like, how much you spend sitting, sitting there. Anyway, it's kind of off topic. <laughs> the, yeah. For me, it was amazing. Yeah, amazing. Like it, it always, it always hits, and I, I love the fact that you know the, their song don't follow like typical patterns as well. They go in all different directions. You know, you get comfortable like rocking out to the song, and suddenly, bam, it changes. There's some kind of intermission or something. Yeah, it's cool. It never, never is boring. Hmm. It's never boring with them. With such a voice, it will be difficult to just sit down without reacting when you're listening to her and how fast she's able to change from the growling to her normal voice is also very shocking to me. I, I really don't know how she manages to do you know, those things and when, why, she's, why she's growling. You don't see like, you don't feel like she's stressed doing it. I, I kind of mm. feel like when you're doing it, you're going to be like a bit stressed. It's going to show like a little bit on your face. But uh, I didn't see anything like that. You know, she kind of changed so fast from the growling to her normal voice. It was just like, wow. <laughs> I always, always love listening to, to them. You know, it's such pattern. Their pattern is very, you know, unique. And I always like the sound of the drums as well, the drummer, this way he beats, just like you hear a lot of guitar in such songs, like I, I could hear a lot of the drumming, like the drum is so loud, just almost at the same um, sound level with the guitar as well. Really good. And it's like the both of them I hear more whenever I hear um, gingers, they it kind of, the drum and the and the guitar kind of go in the same kind of pattern in a way. So that I, I think the drummer and the guitarist are gonna like have like one-on-one -on -one session because it's just... <laughs> they must have just, rehearsals, it's of just, course. It's just a bit technical, the way they play, you know, their instruments a bit. Well, guys, thank you so much for hanging with us and checking out this video. 
Please do remember to subscribe to our channel and also keep your comments and suggestions coming as well. We'll see you all in the next video from We Hey Spy. See ya.